Okay, I had a uh, Camtasia failed. I don't want to really take a hit above uh, 92.21, it looks like. Call it 31. I'm going to move to 41 for now. Come off this 39, we'll call it. Ah, uh, shit. Call it 49. I'm gonna move our second contract in from the 3P target to 9116. Closing in on where I'd like to add a third and to close and then maybe get a break even. bring the third contract way up. Start seeing the volume here, the 130 mark. Let's combine all our trades into one here on the loss side to be able to move. Alright, so a 1P trade right now is 91.63. One and a half, 91.39. I'm going to go 51. And the third at 39, 49.
looking for it to reach back to at least to the pivot line here. Not, I don't know if I'll pivot, the trend line. Be patient here. It's going to might run all the way up to here, which I'd add another one if it gets there. Got to know that we're going to come back down here. Step one, you can get kind of creative. Can't really do this in uh, step two and also in the pro-funded or the funded account. They won't let you trade three. But you can take advantage of, of a movement. And step one. Right there is a good spot. And another one. We have one more that we can add. Let's go grab that fourth contract. We're looking for a move back into here at least, and if it's got any strength come down a little bit let's grab this one and move it up no we're not going to run 91.16 so let's make it 9200 right now. Twenty ticks our favor get us what's that? Two, four, six, eight hundred. All right, I'm going to pause until we get a move. Still have one more that I can add. No, maybe I won't pause. Maybe it'll finally move for me. Definitely going to sell off just no matter how far will it sell. Closing in on our loss that we we're willing to take. Alright, so I'm going to move this one up to the 63 mark, this one up to the 49, this one up to the 39.
All right, don't want to see it go back up to 9200. See if we got a move here now, finally. All right, so we've got a loss of six. This will make a win of eight. We'll net two. Notice that I wasn't willing to take a big hit. I just wanted to give it a little bit of room to start with. Combine the other two together now. Actually, let's go. Th eh. mm, 51, 49. Let's give it a little bit of room on the other ones. 63 is a, a one p down move, which can be run. All right, let's go 99 now and get a little bit more. Might bounce off this trend line here. Hopefully, when we're looking for a GAN signal, what I'm looking for basically, if you've watched me at all over the years, trying to get this right here. This is the target that I want. Let's go ahead and lock in five. So one and a half P is 39. See if we can get that on the last two. Go ahead and lock in 10 now. Let's go 11. Cover our commission costs. Sixty-three, seventy-three. Okay, I wouldn't mind knocking out twenty ticks here. We'll go eighty-one. End of day. Very aggressive stop placement and movement. Seventy-three. I'd be happy with right now. In fact, I'm very happy right now with that. Leaves us with two left. Very aggressive on day one of my trading in step one. You can get away with a lot of stuff. You can get a big gain to quit and start with. Get you halfway to your target. A lot of days are even more. All right, so 39 is one and a half P. That's what we're hunting for. Go 71 now. Sixty-nine. Once we get within 10, we're going to get, we can get kind of aggressive now. 67. Looking for a big blue ball, looking for big volume over here on the blue side. I don't see it yet. All right, let's go ahead and move. Ah, shit. But I didn't go 66. Looks like we might be done right now. Now we'll go 67. Stay at 67. It's still a pretty good win here. Looks like we'll clear a thousand. Be one third to the target on day one. Get away with a lot of stuff in step one. We can't get away with it in step two and also in um, you know once you're funding you gotta stay you gotta trade a lot different I think we'll net about 1350 one and a half P is a great target to hit right now.
No luck. Yeah, I will hold 67. We'll wait. <laughs> I think if I will not think, I know that if I had to wait, I was, I staged into this trade being step one today. Um, most likely would have waited for the 9200 level up to the, the first move that we talked about to start with up to here before I would have jumped in the market today. I would have waited for the upper band basically to run. upper band being this line up here and then we have our 9200 level actually let me go ahead and put that trend line out there too so you can see what I'm talking about right here here was the point that I was selling into right here is where I would have initiated my first short in the route 1330 it looks like with uh, five trades not a bad trading day one puts us the account at uh, as I say 51312 or an 1800 of reaching our profit target we need to make 3,000 before 2,000 loss roughly get a thousand um, weekly loss could have been done quickly and you'd be forced to reset I always give myself at least one reset in a month in step one. Once I'm out of step one, then I'm a lot more aggressive. Excuse me, a lot more, I call it aggressive. I, a lot more, order placement's a lot more um, demanding on you. You have to be a lot, a lot better uh, order placer. So seeing what we saw through here. Might not have had any trades at all until this mark right through here. I don't like being long in a down day. That's why you didn't see me go any longs here. I'm just not a fan of catching a falling knife. Really thought we would reach up to here to start with on this move up where I should have started initiating my selling sequence is roughly in here now I've only been able to trade two contracts in a pro funded account and I believe you can only trade three in step two um, it's, it's making a move now it doesn't really matter we're out all right. Anyway, hopefully that helps you in step one. You're able to take a little bit more. Step one, day one, you can always risk a lot more. You know, look at it as play money if it helps you. You got a $97 investment. You're going after a $10,000 profit. That's how I look at it. I spend a 97 to make 10,000 because my goal is to get the pro fund. It turned out to 10,000 and uh, withdraw the whole damn thing at 100%. Or at least 5,000 of it. <laughs> today and 
interesting setup there into the last 30 minutes. Had an up move all the way from uh, 9 o'clock mark roughly. Finally see some topping patterns here starting at 11 to 11.30 see some topping patterns. Trading the, the overall trend of the day being a down day. Didn't see any high blow off volume on the red side to, to, to let me know that the bottom was in. And this is not really high volume, although it's the first once above a thousand. You have another one above a thousand right there. One more. You got four of them, I guess, over a thousand today. Nothing really big as far as volume goes. And see the blue and the red offsetting each other right there. Blue and red offsetting each other right there. Two reds. This is the first time you see maybe perhaps the bottoms in right there. Two reds with the two blues. Another red. Nothing offsetting that. There's the next move up because of no offsetting. See two more here. Nothing offsetting these two reds. Another up move. Nothing offsetting this red here. And finally we see our last five minutes starting to kick in. And then the the cover. And that's all the cover of all the buys that happened during the day coming all the way back from the low. See them covering, day traders covering right in this area right there. Long side traders that bought in way back here. Here, the day traders covering on this line going down right there. Bigger volume day traders, I should say. All right, we'll do it for today. Let me uh, lock in the chart, get rid of some trend lines that we don't need anymore for the day. This one, I think I'm going to hold that one. That one's a significant point. We're going to hold the bottom and we're going to hold the S1 one line up here. We'll keep those three trend lines on the charts for until tomorrow. See if they play out at all. All right, it's Dave now here, 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.